Hello there again, friend of a friend. I hope you are welcome to another episode of Draw with Mikey, the Wednesday whatever series where we talk about whatever, do whatever. It's completely unprofessional, swear alert, spoiler alert, whatevs. And basically, it's my opportunity to see what's going on with you guys and just read all your comments and stuff and ting below. Last time in the last episode, I think I asked you guys, or well, to be fair, you guys asked me and it turned out to be a great question. How much do you draw each day if you even manage that? So there'll probably be a lot of comments that I read through where it's just people saying, oh, an hour a day with no kind of explanation. So that's what that's all about. Welcome, guys. Welcome, all of you old subscribers and you. It's always a pleasure. Today's recording I'm getting done on Monday because tomorrow, Tuesday, which by the time you listen to this will be yesterday because this will come out on a Wednesday, um, I've got to go and see Doctor Strange, which means I've got to just fit in your comment reading early. So if you've put something in a comment that I've not read through because it's a bit closer to the Wednesday, don't hesitate to get into the comment section of next week's episode and we'll uh, see what's going on. So let's check things out. Breno Silva says, yay, because Breno Silva likes a DWM. Awesome. And Junior Anthony says, can you do a hair tutorial for females? How do you know what hair to draw? And Kid Fresh, um, this is not how you spell, this isn't how you read Kid Fresh. Kid Fresh TL34's name, but every time I glance at it, I'm just like Kid Fresh Lit TL34, whatever. But he does also say that I've made two hair tutorials already. I have indeed. They are old, so they might not be like my finest works. And the audio is before I had a much better microphone set up. See, listen now. See how crisply you can hear that tang of my cup of tea. Let's, let's go metal on metal. Oh, that doesn't help. Let's put it on the desk. There we go. That's the tone I like to hear good old mug of tea. Hopefully you guys are getting some artwork done in the background because, you know, it's just me checking on you lot whilst you hopefully draw or do something awesome. I really don't mind and all questions, all comments welcome. <laughs> this is so badly prepared as ever. Let's see what's going on. Zappy Zor says, if you had to be an animal, what would you be? And Kid Fresh says, I'd be a panda. That way I could get broads in Atlanta, which is... <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Isn't that like the song? Panda, 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 something like that. So well done if it's that. Actually, I completely agree with that answer anyway. I would also be a panda because all I would have to do is exist. All pandas have to do right now is exist. And then people in China will just, you know, help you to breed, feed you, keep you alive. If this was 20 years ago and you were a panda, you were fucked. But right now, being a panda is a great place to be. Like, it's like being a house cat. You just get well looked after. And also, they're really, like, cute when they're, like, really young. They look like just big drunk dwarves or something like that in suits. They are great animals. And uh, Salamander HD would be a chameleon. So motherfuckers can't see and touch me. So taking a different slant on things, if everything. Good for you. Thunder Anime says, hey, Mikey, hello, Thunder. Can you give me advice on how to create a good character? No, I cannot. Goodbye. Next. Anime Art Julian Blair says, long live the hardcore crew. Long live Juglito. And Radiohead is awesome. Will I post any manga on Tapastic when it comes out? What? I've never heard of this. Let's control C, new tab, your comments. All of you guys at home are always just so clued in to loads of different stuff I've never heard of. So you always like, this is the whole point of this series is just so I can check out what's going on with you and kind of read your comments and kind of, you know, stay in touch with the channel as it gets a bit bigger. But you guys are always teaching me way too much stuff. Read and discover comics online, tapastic.com. Oh, is this a place where you can upload your comics and stuff to an audience? Yeah, that may be quite cool. I will check that out later. I'm going to leave that tab open. Oh, yeah, there's loads of amazing artists on here. Cool. Good shout, sir. Many, many thanks. I will come back to that later. And FF... <laughs> I just had two different goes at saying this name failed. It's Triple F or FF Fractal or Fractal. Um, who says, when I go to work, my little Jack, you know, tickle my pickle, I open a sketchbook or watch poor... Celine Dolls, I dare say, is what you're probably writing, but it might have been pornography. Well, good for you, sir. I hope you enjoy masturbating. Live a great life. Wash your hands. That's my only advice. Always wash your hands before you're back with the family. Vaishal Namani says, hey, Mikey. Hello, Vaishal. I draw whenever I find free time. Good for you. And yeah, will I look out on your artwork in the Hardcore Crew group? That would be a great community of people with similar interests. That is you on Facebook. Oh, like have like 
um, an actual proper because I keep saying hashtag hardcore crew for any of you guys that end up listening towards the end of these videos. Um, it's a pleasure, obviously, having you. Um, but maybe I should make that an actual thing. Hashtag hardcore crew. Problem is, is like you can't use words like hardcore on the internet without you know ending up in a meeting. So um, we might not have to go for that. And Arcania Deity says, please do a tutorial on RWBY characters. I don't know if you are you supposed to pronounce that as Ruby. I guess so. Um, yeah, I guess we could. Oh, you know what? I went to um, Comic-Con the other day, Sunday, and uh, there was loads of English voice actors for Ruby at that thing. Apparently, I didn't see them. I uh, don't like listening to anime in English. Although, maybe that's originally made in America? I can't quite remember. Actually, shit. Yeah, it is. I don't think Ruby has a Japanese version. I think it's originally made in English. Oh, maybe I should have checked them out after all. I didn't. What can I say? Um, I will put up a... Hmm, will I? Yeah, I'll make a vlog or something. I took the camera around. So I'll make like a cheeky Comic-Con vlog and stick that up maybe. Huzzy Bear says, Am I the only one who thinks he should try to use different pens rather than the Unibull Eye in every DWM video? I mean, I got excited when I saw the Vainglory Catherine thumbnail because it was drawn in blue ink, so I just think it would be cool if he once in a while used some random pen or any other drawing tool in these videos with different colours. Don't get me wrong, I love drawing of ink. It's just a suggestion. Thank you, Huzzy Bear, for your suggestion. And yeah, that's not a bad point. Like, um, uh, I, you know, you're right. I, I'm not against using different media. Um, and the sketchbook is the place to experiment with different media because not everything has to be perfect in a sketch, but you just kind of do whatever you want, which is why some of the visuals to these episodes are better than others because, you know, some sketchbook days are better than others. No one really cares, and I certainly don't mind. Um, yes, I guess I should try to do that. Whether I can be bothered, though, and get round to it is completely different. The thing about that pen is that. It's quite thick, dark ink, so it shows up really clearly on a camera phone, and it's great for getting, like, ideas out as quick as possible. But what if I just messed it up and used some pencil and ink? Who knows, sir? And right now, actually, um, you'll probably notice that I've just recently been drawing a really rough, simplified version of um, a panel I really like from Berserk, because... Apparently now we have to mention Berserk every single DWM episode. So you'll notice I'm doing Zod the Immortal. Although at this point over the recording, I'm probably still just doing um, the Band of Hawk, Takano Dan on the bottom row. But watch it as it grows. Such are things. Um, Varga Winter, Varga Winter 83 says, I would talk to Bazara from Shin Mai Mao No Testament. Oh yeah, so the other question we had last time as well, it's a twofer. Um, was how often do you draw each week or how much time do you like to spend drawing each day? Personally, um, I don't have the time to draw half as much as I would like to. Uh, I draw maybe three or four days each week and not that often. Whenever I fill a page in a sketchbook like this one, maybe that takes me somewhere vaguely around an hour, two hour mark, maybe, maybe two hours. And then the tutorials take a lot of work. The SAS for fan art stuff, Sexy Anime Saturday, that takes the most amount of time um, per video. But other than that, I just, yeah, I've got to go to work and kind of live my life. It's tough to fit it in as much fun as it is. But the other question, anyway, let's get back to the point. The other question was, uh, if you guys could talk to any anime character in real life, no touching, who would it be? And also kind of why? What would you want to tell them um, if you kind of wanted to have an effect on them and their world? Or vice versa, maybe just get some advice from them. Uh, Denise Seal says, I would like to meet Akashi for male and Mira Jane for female. Also, can you draw Raven from Teen Titans, an etchy version? Maybe, maybe not. The scary thing about the word Teen Titans is it already suggests they're teenagers. So if they're below 18, then no, I'm not going to draw an etchy version of them because I don't want to end up on a register somewhere. Horizon says, notification squad. Oh, dude, you get those little pips on your phone. Do you let you know that? Sweet DWM episode is out. Always pleased to hear it. And Deandre Connor says, Outstanding work, Mikey. You're an amazing artist. Keep it up, buddy. Thank you very much, Deandre. Uh, Psycho Mantis says, I really like this video. It's learning much from them. You remind me a lot of Kim Jong Ji. Thank you for taking the time to help us out with your tutorials. Kim Jong Ji. <laughs> I really want to just say Kim Jong Un. Let's have a look at Kim Jong Ji. Who is this as an artist? Oh, this guy. Okay, so like, I know, I know this artist. I've seen a lot of his work before. And thank you very much for saying that. I am nowhere near this guy's standard. This guy is a fucking incredible artist. Okay, 
Whatever you're doing right now, maybe you're working on your own stuff at home. Bloody love you for it. But get on Google Image Search and type in Kim. <laughs> Let's try this again. Kim Jung Ji. K I M J U N G and then G I. So strong. Like his artwork is. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm just looking at all these images of his art. They're so rich and just full of perspective and angle and foreshortening and like oh, lens warping as well. Okay, back to your topics. As ever with these episodes, you guys mention stuff. By the end of the episode, I end up with like five or six tabs open. I spend the rest of the evening just checking out different artwork. Bloody love you guys for it. How are we doing? Oh, God, you know what, guys? There's a lot of comments again. Oh, I've just scrolled up. Let's scroll back down. So I'm going to read most of them. I'm going to do my best to read all of them. We'll see how we get on. Levin Jinjin says, um, you're like the Al Bundy of drawing tits. <laughs> Why, thank you very much. <laughs> By the way, can you make Kim Possible look like a real person? I've tried and she really don't. Yeah, making like slightly more realistic artwork versions of characters. I don't mind if they're young. I'm just not going to make like a sexy version, if that makes sense. So yeah, we'll get added to the list, maybe. Viking Sire or Viking Seer says, I think etchy can be good if it's presented in a good way. Like in a Kill the Kill, the etchy is there to criticize its own etchy elements. Or in Monogatari, the etchy is used to break the monotony of the dialogues. Or in Monster Mizume, they use etchy as a form of comedy. But when it's like High School D times D, where the show just exists... To present Etchy, then I'd rather not watch. I know what you mean. Like, I kind of get it. Boobs are a massive seller. I mean, of course I know this. I've, I see my YouTube channel stats, and if I include boobs in the thumbnail of a um, bit of artwork, that'll get shitloads more views than otherwise, because that's the nature of the world. Um, but in anime, yeah. And you know what? So if you kind of go into this uh, DWM playlist and go back, one of the early ones, I talk about my thoughts on, like, hentai porn and stuff like that. And I'm not a fan of it. I don't like it. Uh, well, you know, I'm not judging and I don't care if you do. But I don't like it because there's a lot of people who don't know about anime or aren't really into it. And they assume everything's etchy and hentai. And that kind of label puts them off actually maybe getting into some genuinely excellent stuff. Like, you know, it makes me sad to think um, there's a few scenes in Ghost in the Shell probably where um, the major gets built up in her cyber cybernetic form and there's a few like skin shots of her and somebody might look at it at a glance and just feel like oh that's that etchy hentai stuff I'm not going to watch that where really they're just not going to watch an incredible movie because of that so I kind of don't like the way it kind of stops people getting into anime and there's this really blurry line as well between what's kind of appropriate for kids and people and what's family safe and then randomly you think you're watching a safe something just like when you guys recommended high school d times d in fact great example viking um where i was like oh okay people are asking me to do some characters from this let's take a look and i think i'm watching something kind of normal there's a lot of gratuitous uh butt shots and then next thing i know they've just got their tits out and i'm just like oh okay this is not safe for viewing as a general rule of thumb so yeah i don't like it i want like a world obviously people can be interested in, their, in whatever they want i'm not gonna like fascistly force them to be interested in something but i'd love a world where everybody's just kind of open to loads of different styles because there are some fucking great films out there but there's some great anime movies and there's some great um manga to read and the existence of things like hentai not that i'd ban it of course you know everybody's everybody's had a look if you've got the internet you've probably seen some in your life there's no escaping it um but i don't like the idea of it like putting people off actually getting access to really rich awesome media that is safe for work so, yeah, I know what you mean, Viking. In terms of using Etchy in a good way, I guess there's always going to be fan service in a lot of stuff. Um, but I still, I don't know, if if a anime series is relying on Etchy a lot, I'm probably not going to be interested in it. Even in your other examples. Kill the Kill I'm kind of interested in because it's so fast-paced and there's loads of explosions and Etchy is just a minor element of what else is going on in a presentation. Um, but if they keep using it all the time, I do tend to zone out a bit like i'm someone who likes really strong character development these days or really incredible plot twists that's what helps to suck me in i guess um Vizorak says i like to draw my own characters for stories i write could you draw a character from the story you're trying to do oh you know what like i i <laughs> okay so like loads of dwm episodes when i'm sitting here and i'm just like oh i should fill up the sketchbook a bit for when i do some uh wednesday recording the first things I want to do every single time is draw some characters that I'm designing for the manga that I'm kind of vaguely working on in the background. And I'm really doing my best not to simply because um, 
I just want these ideas to stay mine for the moment until I actually get it all down on paper. Like, there's some character stuff that's like I've had a lot of fun with recently, but I just can't quite share it, basically. Um, but in the future, I will, especially once I've, like, finally cracked down a rough pencil draft of maybe the first chapter. Then I can start sharing loads of stuff. And hopefully I'll be making some tutorial videos about making manga as well as just drawing particular characters and scenes and stuff. So we'll get there, dude. It's just going to be a long way down the path. The journey as ever continues. 2016, we're entering the twilight period. It's getting dark. 2017 is going to be a fucking better year than this one. It's going to be a fucking great year, in fact. That's what I'm looking forward to. 2017. 2016 can sod off. The Seventh Coyote says, I hate school Wi-Fi. It won't let me watch. Oh. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> That's such a, like, you've just, you've, <laughs> you've had your comment first. And then right in the middle, it just goes, oh, hey, Mikey. I sent you a piece of my work on Facebook. Awesome. If I get some time to check it out. I will check it out. I'll check it out in about four or five months. I'm not joking when I say I'm really behind on the Facebook artwork that's submitted because more and more are doing it, which is great. I don't even know how that turned into a gallery of your artwork instead of just a standard Facebook page, but it is awesome, and I will get there eventually, so do hold pace. What I liked about your comment, the Seventh Coyote just said, was like, the way it just reads, it's kind of like The Room. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of a film called The Room. It is so bad that it's like famously like as a classic now. It's just one of the worst films ever made. And uh, there's this guy in it, and he's just like... Oh, I can't even remember what he is. He's bitching about something really bad. He's like, I didn't hit it. I didn't. I'm not. And he just goes, oh, hi, Mark. That's just how it reminded me of that. Obviously, if you've never seen a room, all of that means nothing to you. And I've just kind of wasted your time with a quote. But there you go. I just get to talk about whatever. Um, Sahil says, also, hashtag hardcore crew. Yes, you guys and girls stay in for these videos. Bloody love it if you make it to the end, you hardcore. And Joel says, I thought my tea was cheap tea that tries to look fancy, but comparing and converting the prices between a store in Canada and Tesco in Britain, you see that, yeah, your tea is expensive. I get 60 more bags, 64 more bags, all right, calm down, mate, for the same price you pay. Madness! I drink it for the taste, but nuts to that. I'll be a special celebration tea only from now on. I'm sure cheaper tea can taste just as good. And then you've got a link on here, which I'm hoping is a link to some tea bags because that's how fucking cool Mikey is. Mikey likes conversations about um, not even good like high brow tea, just basic store bought tea. Bloody love a PG tips pyramid bag. Oh, real Canadian superstore links to Egyptian licorice mint tea. You fucking freaky motherfucker. I'm not into that BDSM S&M stuff, Joe. You're a little bit too out there for my liking. But thank you for the link nonetheless. Um, Kid Fresh, back again with more comments. What are you talking about, Mike? You never stop being a pervy sage. I am not a pervy sage, I promise. I'm a totes, legit, middle of the road, slightly pervy sage. Nope, absolutely not. Family safe. Come on, that's the rule for this channel. It's safe for all the family, just about. I'm pretty sure... I do my best to never include nipples in the artwork. That's like the YouTube rule. Like you can't, in can't include a nipple otherwise your channel gets shut down. Um, but you like to draw every day. Oh, good on you. You work for six days a week, so it's kind of hard. Yeah, I feel you, mate. And you try to draw about three to four times a week if you can. And you've done some line art with a link to your Instagram. Let's open up this link. Oh, yeah. Warning, everybody. Don't send me your links to your artwork on here. It takes up way too much of my time. I say that and I still look at them every time because I'm curious. Oh, this is really... <laughs> yeah, and every time it's really good. Oh, shit. If you didn't trace that, I'm really fucking impressed. That's really nice. I, you've smashed all the materials and the clothing and the design of this. I get it that you're copying something, but yeah. Oh, you got some notes. It was way outside of your comfort zone and bigger than what you're used to. Yeah, well done you, man. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm a big fan of that. That is some good work. And drawing guns at an angle is a pain in the ass as well. Okay, sweet. Trey Francis says, I draw at least once every day, even if it's just eyes. Good for you, sir. Getting the eyes down is something people do a lot. But if you're going to do that, right, if you like to sit there and draw eyes, because that's a really, really common thing with people getting into art, make sure that you're drawing either both eyes or you swap sides. Like, don't just draw a right hand eye. Make the next eye you do a left hand eye and keep swapping it over. Otherwise, you're going to get really good at one direction only and trust me nobody wants to sing along to one direction crescent sound says um i would talk to subaru from re zero and ask why the fuck he chose amelia over rem lols and five people like this and i don't know 
I don't know what that is, but I know there's a Rem. I know Rem and Ram are characters from a thing. Like there's a pink one and a blue one, or their hair color at least. And it sounds like some dude chose like the wrong girl, basically. And people agree with you. Well, we'll look at that in the future. Um, I guess it's kind of like Twilight when um, you know the girl in Twilight. She's like autistic, so she's not good with talking to people or something. She's twitchy, and then she likes the guy who's made of diamonds, like. And his mates, wait, what was it? So there's a guy made of diamonds. Wait, let's quickly summarize Twilight. There's an autistic girl who likes a guy made of diamonds. And he's got this creepy family who like live together in the woods. And then there's another dude who has like allergies or something. He's allergic to dogs. I can't remember. And she chooses one over the other. So I guess it's kind of like about picking which is worst and then going with the other one. But you know, as far as I remember Twilight's, there are award winning films, which really were brilliantly written and brought the world together and made a difference. So yeah, good for them. Brandon Flores says, I haven't commented in a while. How are you, Mikey? Hello, Brandon. Yeah, not too bad. Thank you very much, dude. How are you? It's a Monday. I've got back from work. Still fresh on a weekend. Very, very busy evening. But how are all of you listening? How are you? Seriously, all of you listening right now. What are you doing? Are you getting some artwork done in the background? Are you just chilling out? What is the vibe? If you're working on a project, I want to hear about it. And if you want to ask me any not art related questions like manga and anime, that's also welcome as well. This is obviously it's an art theme channel, so it's always going to be the main topic. But what evs, I really don't mind. I just want to see what you guys are up to, basically. Um, Rusty003 says, I want to draw more, but don't often have things to draw. Or when I try to draw something like from some stories I'm writing, I don't work out how to see it in my head. What would you suggest? What would be the best thing to try to improve it? Enjoy all the art. Oh, you've enjoyed all the art, including the Inktober zombies. Thank you very much, sir. Will I be able to do a zombie tutorial or monster tutorial? Yes, definite zombie tutorials in the future. We've kind of missed window now, so maybe it'll have to be like next October. I'll smash some out. But there are a few tricks to drawing zombies. So yeah, let's link that up. In fact, no, I like that idea a lot. I am going to have to definitely make a note of that, though, because I'll never remember. Zombie tutorials. Do -do -do. Doop -doop -loop. Okay, great. And uh, Brandon Flores says, I almost never draw. Because of school, I'm sad inside. And when I do... Oh, wait, okay. Oh, wait, I don't even know how you're saying that. Are you saying um, you never draw because of school and you're sad inside? Or are you just saying because of school, you're sad inside? Um, oh, you're sad inside when you do homework instead of drawing. Maybe I should read all of your sentences in future. No, mate, homework is... Oh, mate, homework sucks. I'm not going to lie to you. Unless you really, really love the subject. Because I was a bit of a geek. But um, when you get your homework done, that's kind of a nice feeling, don't you think? Like, you might not enjoy doing the homework, but once it's done, you're just like, oh, thank God. Don't have to worry about it. The rest of the evening is yours, unless you've done homework right up till bedtime, in which case, KYS. Sam Flavored Toast says, when do you draw? How do you have to do the technique, e.g. draw head levels, or do you just draw off by heart? Um, if you watch any of my tutorials, dude, you'll know that I do use that framework technique. And I measure out the head height of characters, but I don't like I do it by eye. So if I've done a character's head, I will just kind of in my own head kind of go, well, it's another couple head heights down to the hips and a few more head heights for the length of legs and so on. I won't sit there and actually measure it with a ruler or anything, but I do still try to measure it in my mind. And that's just something you get from experience and practice. So if you're starting out, yeah, measure it if that makes you feel a bit more safer when you're doing your character design or check out that uh, tutorial I did, which was all about different head heights and manga in general. Hopefully that'll be help. help. College 1911 says, have you done a video on foreshortening? Yes, I have, sir. I've done three, basically, like high angle perspective, low angle perspective, and then limb foreshortening in general. So get involved. You're having trouble with perspective and characters and three quarter view. Oh, so I may, might not have done a big three quarter setup, but I've definitely done some foreshortening banter tutorials. Have a look. Xvive says, did I ever have a time in my life when I wanted to give up on drawing? Well, yeah, it's like every single time I'm really eager to draw and then nothing comes out of my pen, out of my head or out of my mind, which is, you know, probably once every few weeks, you just kind of fall out of a vibe ever so quickly. Um, but other than that, in a big sense, I pretty much did. Not in like a really sad way. It's not like I put down the pen and swore an oath saying I will never draw again or anything like that over the blood of my enemies. I just um, kind of love drawing in general. Obviously, it makes me really happy. I hope it, you guys enjoy that sort of stuff as well. 
Um, and then I just got really into like doing office stuff. Maybe like, was it about five years ago or something like that? I started working in a different company and I got really into officing and I got really into analytics and e-commerce analysis and team lead, <laughs> all this kind of stuff. Like just fucking running groups of people and doing training packs, all that office bullshit, which is fine if you love it because it was cool. And the people are amazing there. That's the thing. Like the work wasn't amazing, but the people definitely, definitely were, which made it okay. Um, so I didn't like give up drawing, but I just stopped doing it. I stopped having the time and I just focused my life on different things. And obviously the last kind of few years, I've totally gotten back into it and realized, oh shit, why the hell did I stop doing that? I fucking love doing that. So if you guys ever get the feeling like you're giving up on drawing, I'll oh, just give it some time. Don't stress out. It's like um, when people get like, you know, this, is, this conversation is going to take a sudden t dark turn. It's like when people have like suicidal thoughts, like everyone gets depressed from time to time. It's tough. Um, but don't kill yourself, whatever you do, Jesus, because uh, later on, you won't be in the mood to kill yourself. Like, if you kill yourself, then that's it. Like, there's no coming back from that. You'll never live it down. Or, well, you won't even live. But if you don't kill yourself, <laughs> this is Mikey's life advice. If you don't kill yourself, you might still feel like shit and want to do it. But then later on in your life, you probably won't feel quite so bad. And you'll think to yourself, oh, it's a good thing I'm not dead, isn't it? So it's the same thing with art, basically. This is my analogy. It's like, yeah, you might want to quit art, but you know what? Fine, I don't care. Stop doing art for a bit and go do something else that makes you happy. It doesn't mean you can't come back to art later. So yeah, um, nothing is permanent. Um, nothing is forbidden. What is it? What is it they say in that video game? Nothing is forbidden. Everything is permitted. Something like that. I think it's Assassin's Creed. I just can't quite remember. I don't even think that saying helps with this sentence. But uh, yeah, just basically think of Assassin's Creed whenever you want to give up on drawing. That's the lesson. Absolute Zero says, watching your videos makes doing my chemistry homework bearable. And I thank you, sir. Oh, really pleased. I hope you're really learning about your bonds and stuff. Try to remember any chemistry knowledge that I have. Or oh, L-Dopa, because it has um, left-hand particles, because light refracts off to the left. L-Dopamine, that's the artificial one used in a lot of 70s products. I remember that. And also, I know all about biology, I guess. Neurotransmitters and the brain. Corby Senior says, I issue a challenge. All right, mate. Calm your neck down. Try drawing a Day of the Dead orientated art. Day of the Dead. I recall seeing a drawing of a sugar skull you've what you've done once. Oh, yeah. That's like the first page of my sketchbook. So, yeah, actually. You know what? I actually quite like all that sort of stuff. Um, let's just copy, control, C, add it to that list. Zombie tutorials. Day of Dead orientated art. Why not? That's always a nice way to fill up a sketchbook. And Isakaka says, Just starting out and I'm glad I found your channel. Welcome along! Welcome to all new people. I used to draw when I was little, mostly Metroid or Super Metroid concept art. Cool. Seamus Aran, isn't it? Is she the Metroid woman? But that was 20 years ago. And I have no school or experience in drawing. You've mentioned when you restarted drawing that you had some fundamental techniques from art school in your youth. I did indeed. Currently, I'm just looking at art like that. Uh, oh wait, no, let me try that again. Currently you're just looking at art that you like and you're trying to sketch it yourself. Is there anything I'm missing by not having any formal drawing education? Oh, is there anything you're missing? Um, I think like exactly what you're saying, looking at what you like. And if you get a chance, if you're new here, somewhere near the top of my channel, what I'll do is I'll, just for you, mate, because you know, I'm such a nice guy. I'm going to just rearrange my links at the top of my main channel page, just so that my art frequently asked questions the faq video is somewhere easy to find um but i talk in that about copying other art and building up your technical skill so if there's art styles that you like and you start to copy it out as long as you're not tracing don't trace whatever you do because that will not help anyone but as long as if you want to copy out art you like or use it for your own style that's going to help your technique get a really strong eye for it and don't just look at something and say oh i like that and copy it look at it and work out what you like. Why does it work? Are some lines thicker than others? Is some kind of rhythm to the picture? Um, so yeah, do that. Build up your skills. But it does help um, when it comes to like, you know, taking art classes at school. It does help if you're given an objective. And it helps if you're kind of forced to do art that you're not really thinking of. Maybe forced out your comfort zone a bit or forced to draw or do a kind of art you never quite perceived as being that interesting. Because it really helps expand things up. If you become your own teacher and just say, I'm going to draw X many hours a day of stuff that I like, that's great. But you're only going to get good at what you're already aware of you want to get good at. And it's not going to force you to kind of 
get interested or get good at some other bits. I hope that kind of made some sense. It, it doesn't have to be a formal education that does this. It could just be a load of YouTube videos on art that you've not really checked out before. Like, I'm not the only channel that does art drawing videos, and I'm certainly not the best. There's some amazing people out there. So get yourself subscribed to loads of us lot, uh, dude. And, uh, yeah, really try to mix it up. That's what I'd say. Spend some time drawing the art styles you like. Absolutely. Um, but make sure you mix it up as well. Get some other things in. And write yourself a little bucket list. Wait, no, not, not because you're going to die at the end of it. But write yourself a little to-do list. Of like, okay, if you want to draw art, um, have you got an awareness of all the basic muscle groups and anatomy? Can you draw hands, heads, limbs, different angles? Can you draw uh, mechanical things? Do you know about three-point perspective? Do you know about art history, if you care about it? Do you know about the different art styles and the different materials they used? It's like the world of art. Like, you know, as you probably guessed, I fucking love it. Um, I've got a, I'm a bit more niche these days with the anime manga stuff. But like, art in general is immense and it's so important culturally. So. Yeah, there's a lot there. I mean, I could talk about that a lot, as you've noticed. Um, but we need to get through more comments. I'm scrolling my way up as fast as I can. Oh, you know what, guys? I've been reading... I've been answering your comments a bit longer than I should do. Which is fine. I like it. But it does mean it's we're going to not quite fit in everybody's comments. I'm so sorry. Ken Kazuya says, Do you ever get drawing blocks? Do you know a lack of inspiration and such? It's a problem you've been having lately. You just can't get around it. Any tips would be lovely. Um, yeah, so this is kind of a question I get asked a lot, and I really should make a video about it, because it's actually really common, and it's not in my frequently asked questions at the moment. Um, for me personally, everybody's got their own different thing, Ken. I, if I get an art block, um, I don't force it. Like, as long as it's not like I've got a deadline, or I've not got a commission to do for somebody, if I sit down and want to draw, and then I'm just, I'm not feeling it, nothing's happening, or it's just a really shitty page of work I'm coming out with, um, and I don't have any particular targets, don't force it. I put it down. I go meet my friends at the pub. I'll just go for a run. I'll do anything else that's not drawing. Um, and then try again later that day. Try again the next day. Try again the next week. Um, I think you need to do it as much as you enjoy it. And if you don't need to, don't force it. Because otherwise you're not going to be happy doing it. And I don't know. I'd rather be happy doing my hobbies. If, however, you've got to work to deadlines and such, mate, you've just got to fucking knuckle down and get it out of the way, whether you love it or not. Because, you know, other people are waiting. Um, Somebody who has answered this question, I'm sure way better than what I've just come up with, is Jazza from Draw with Jazza's channel. Um, so check that out because he's got a video about what to draw when you don't know what to draw, what to draw when you can't get around to it. So yeah, check out what he's got to say. He's probably thought about it way better than I have. Louis Zavala says, I draw at least one to two drawings, one or two drawings a week. You need to up your game, sir. Thanks for motivating me to keep drawing. Oh, awesome, mate. It's a pleasure. If, you, um, if this helps you guys get some artwork done, then I'm a happy chappy. Black Snow 150 says, I find it's hard to play music when drawing or even draw when playing music. So either one or the other, I end up with ink all over my guitar. Ah, clever. I see what you've done there, sir. I see what you've done. Or well, you know what? That could be like a modern art piece. If you get like a really massive sheet of paper, um, like A-5 or some shit like that on the floor, and then like cover your guitar strings in ink or cover your like pick and ink in your hand, and then play guitar like wildly and then all the ink spatters that are on the floor are some modern art piece to represent the song that you were playing. Or not, you know, just have a cup of tea, either. Jordan Jordonic says, you know, I'm still waiting for that sexy Pikachu. Jordonic, I don't know what to tell you. That SAS Pikachu that I started, I'm kind of happy with it. It's fine. But I kind of came away from that Gajinka stuff because it was like a trigger warning in the comment section about furry stuff. Um, but I will complete it. So maybe it's going to go up here. Maybe I'll put it on Patreon only. There's an alternative version of a Pikachu I want to draw. And there's still some alternative versions of Pokemon I want to do. But they are actually genuinely just people in this instance as opposed to animals. We'll see what we've got going. Watch this space. I need to get around to that. I'm glad you've reminded me. Keiko says, this reminds me of a mad Beethoven. Were you listening to classical music? And I think I'm drawing four times a week. Four times a week! Awesome. That's a good number. That's a good number to keep it up. Yeah, so obviously, as you can see now, this picture that I'm drawing based on a panel from Berserk uh, with Zod in it is... Um, wait, what the fuck am I talking about? Oh yeah, this is what I'm doing this week. But last week, um, I myself couldn't think of what to draw. I didn't feel very inspired to do much drawing at all. So I just sat there and I put on a load of um, movie retrospective reviews on YouTube and just had a playlist of that and just listened to loads of retrospective reviews from films that I remember when I was a kid. Just to pass the time. And I just filled the sketchbook up with anything. I didn't really care. 
And when you've got your own sketchbooks, you don't have to make masterpieces. You can do whatever you want. And so I think I just ended up with this random page full of tentacle headed guys and a robot or something like that. So yeah, a real mix. But um, music really influences your artwork, I think. So uh, yeah, it is an important thing. We might have, might have asked this question before about what music do you listen to, but maybe we'll ask it again in the future just to see what's going on. Jean-Marie Collier. Hey, Mikey, your drawing is great. Thank you very much, Jean-Marie. I wanted to ask, can you draw Satsuki from Kill La Kill? She's been on the SAS suggestions list for a while, don't you worry? And Brianna Howard says, hi. Hi there, Brianna. I have a question, if you would. Okay. I've been drawing for a couple of years now and I've made progress. Good for you. However, for some reason, I can't seem to elevate it to a whole new level. Someone once told me that it's because of the way I hold my pencil is why no improvements have shown. Really? That's weird. I hold it in between the index finger and the middle finger. Freak. Should I keep going the way I am and figure out or should I try to change the way I hold my pencil? I write that way, so it'll be difficult to do it that way. I... I pretty much... I'm just practicing now just because I can't imagine it. I'm just holding my pen out. Yeah, I... You know, I hold my drawing pencil in a very similar way that I would write with a pencil or a pen anyway. Obviously, there's different techniques when you move your hand further up the pencil. You know, I've, I've done a tutorial on this as well, how to shade with a pencil. What do you know? Um, um, no, no, sod that. Do whatever you want, mate. And why don't you not have a pencil? Why don't you get like an ink pen? Or why don't you get a brush and some watercolour and just completely mix it up? Um, I've never found my own artwork to have these magical leaps and steps. Like for me, my art skill has been so subtle and slow at progressing. I only notice it when I look back at my artwork from about three months ago. There's never been like a, for me personally, a eureka moment. I mean, every now and then you'll learn a new trick on Photoshop. that's just like, oh, fuck, why haven't I been doing this all my life? And that's really cool. Or you'll just learn how to draw something and you get that under your wing, like um, a difficult angle on something. You finally work out how to make the relationships of different spaces kind of work on a page. But there's no like, you know, oh, shit, I've done it. I've leveled up my art skill. It's always just a really slow, gentle thing. So. Don't stress too much about it. Do it if it makes you happy, dude. Yumiko Draw says, I finally found this channel after a long time. Welcome, Yumiko. I've been told I've improved over the years. Good for you. We've just been talking about that. And I think I found this channel in 2015, maybe 2014. Not sure. Yeah, it's been a good two and a half-ish years of Mikey Mega Mega. <laughs> makes me sound so mental. My name's just Mikey. But like this channel has been like, yeah, rolling for a while. And Superman Prime HD. Hello, Mikey. It's been a while. It has. I remember you, Superman Prime HD. Uh, weird question, but has anybody ever told you that you look like Kit Harrington's goofy older cousin? <laughs> so I'll take that, thanks. <laughs> I'll be Kit's goofy cousin. Aside from that, I draw about two to three times a week. My face isn't in many of my videos anymore. Like, you get channels that never do a face reveal. I've had my mug in it since the beginning. Um, but mostly you see my face in the video game Let's Play stuff. And it's been a while since I've had the time to get back into that. It's definitely coming back, don't you worry. Um, but yeah, it has been a while since I've done some LPs. But um, yeah, I'll make that vlog. Yeah, I'll definitely make a vlog based on Comic-Con. And that'll just have my face in it loads. In fact, too much, arguably. Anyway, what are you saying, Superman Prime HD? You draw about two to three times a week? Good. Do some more. You wish it was due to lack of time, but it stems from a lack of energy or inspiration. Yeah, man, that's the uh, topic of the day, isn't it, mate? Um, by the way, you talked to Risty from Queen's Blade. If you could talk to anybody, your kind of lady. I don't know who that is. I know Queen's Blade is that, because it's really famous, that's that etchy anime where they're like warrior women from different cultures. Like there's a Spartan one and an Egyptian one and a magical one. And they've all got this thing where they can't wear many clothes or something. Like they can wear armor, but it's proper like, you know, really risky stuff. So yeah, why would you talk to her though? Just because you think she's hot? I want to know what anime characters would you talk to where there's something, you know, really contextual and real and sort of vitally important that you'd want to discuss or not. Cameron the man says, keep drawing. Okay, thanks. Oh, and he also says your faces are savage. Thank you very much, sir. That's much better than hearing your face is savage. So cheers. Average Louis says, hey, Mikey. Hey, Average. How can I share my drawings with you? And then Facebook. So, well, yeah, you've answered your own questions, mate. Get on Facebook, um, like the Mikey Mega Mega page, and then you can send it to me in a direct message on there. And then I will read that message in a long, long time. Probably next year by now. F. Smitic says, you like to draw five to six hours a day. Good for you, sir. You mainly use TV, music, YouTube, Twitch, or just have a quiet background whilst doing your art. Good. Very, fairly similar myself these days. It depends on what you're working on. Correct. 
Right now, you're working on a creepy creature due to tomorrow for a challenge whilst listening to this video. I hope you like the dulcet tones of my voice. It's always a pleasure. Hashtag hardcore crew. And oh, you further answered. Who would you like to talk to? Yoruichi from Bleach to learn her secret stealth techniques. And if it had to be a man, it would be Spike from Cowboy Bebop. At least those are my choices right now. Yeah, you know that like Spike Spiegel, I think that's his name, would just have stories to tell. Like he'd be great for a chat because he's, he's gone through a lot, that guy. And he also comes from like this future space age, which is a load of fun. Yoruichi, yes, I'd love to trade up in her techniques. But whenever you watch manga like that, it's always like... To learn their techniques, the main character has to do something that almost kills them. And just because they happen to be the main character, they happen to survive. Whereas if we did it, we'd probably die. Like, you'd be like, you're a Ricci, tell me, tell me how to do this flash step or something like that. And she'd just chuck you off a bridge and then you'd die because you're not a manga character, you're a real person. It's tough. It is tough. A Knight Musa says, draw Feitan from Hunter times Hunter. Well, well, well. I am recording this on the Monday and pretty much... Right now, as to my recording, it's almost 7pm right now on the Monday, although it's obviously Wednesday for you guys. Um, I should have uploaded a Faye Tam video, because although I was going to stick to just loads of One Piece characters until I was satisfied, I realised I had to do another Gon that was better. I wanted to do a Gon that was more interesting, that matched the Killer um, draw Simple Easy. And then I thought, whilst I'm here, we might as well cheek out a Faye Tan as well. I hope that satisfies you. You've been all up in the comments of so many of my videos. Don't think I haven't noticed. I do. By the way, I check out all your guys' comments. I might not be able to read strictly all of them these days because there's quite a few that pop up, but I read absolutely shed loads of them. So I'm usually keeping an eye on stuff. I just don't have the time to actually reply to them, which is why we have this series where I get to sit down and quite particularly see what's going on. Gummy Bear 30. Lols, I love a commentary. Oh, I'm really pleased, especially on the titties. Big round circles. Yes, they are. This is a thing for when you, when you guys like are watching your etchy anime and just being like, oh yeah, oh some good circle. Remember that they're just drawn circles, okay? Like you know, get out the house and meet people in real life as well. It's also fun. Real life girls are better than anime girls because they're real. Although I'm not knocking the anime girls, obviously they're also quite good. You're really happy that you subbed. Oh, thank you very much. Pleased to have you along, and I keep you interested in the videos, and you've learned how to draw poses and figures better. Yes, that's the point. Jordan A.C. Perry says, Can I continue drawing different cultures in anime form? You really enjoyed them? Brilliant. We've done three so far. Um, they're kind of like, I like doing these videos because it forces me to be more aware of different tropes in different cultures as well. Like, I'm no man of the world. So when I'm doing the videos, I keep apologizing because I'm aware I'm probably going to offend people. Although also, it's the internet. So any kind of video that involves race is immediately going to be some massive trigger warning in the comments. But I don't fucking get involved with any of that. Uh, so yeah, glad you enjoyed them. And yeah, maybe more in the future. I've got some other stuff I've got to do now. Because I've done the main three that I really wanted to get out there. Just to kind of get different cultures on people's radars a bit. When it comes to designing their own characters. Um, but yeah, further down the line, I'm sure we all do. There's such a wide world to live in. Charles Sketch says, hey Mikey, hello Charles. I try to draw when I have free time. Because I've got maybe at least ten different manga ideas in question. Do I think it's better to release a manga that I enjoy doing, even though it's more older or teen Mayo release? Wait. Oh, right. Okay. Do a manga for older people, the older generation, maybe a bit more adult themed because you enjoy it. Or do a manga that's suitable for all ages. Well, I think it's important, unless you're like doing something particular for a job, I personally think it's important to do what you enjoy. Like, if you spend your time, like, you know, people go to work, people go to jobs that they don't enjoy every day of their lives sometimes and they're paid to do it so why would you do something that you don't enjoy in your own spare time when you could do something you do enjoy it's non sequitur do the one that you enjoy dude because you know it's your life and you might as well enjoy it <laughs> i don't even know how that's a question the more i say it the more it's not even a question do the enjoyable one termitone says hi mikey hey termitone i hope you're having a good day i am thank you again for guys for asking hope you're all having lovely lives obviously you're drawing panels of your comics as you listen to the episode I'm glad you're back. It's a pleasure being back. We skipped an episode, the one before last. I do apologise, everybody. And it's okay if I skip a few Wednesdays every once in a while. Oh, topical. Um, it is my life. Yes. <laughs> Very kind of you. It's okay to skip a few Wednesdays every once in a while because it is my life. You guys won't hold it against me, even if you do hold it against me just a little bit. Um, oh, I love you guys, too. Thank you very much for the kind words. There's more to your comment. Expand this box. As for the questions, you draw a little bit every day because you think constant little practices are better than hours of rare practices. Absolutely correct. Nailed it. 
absolutely correct. Don't have time to get into it, but you've got it. And the muscle memory won't improve as much when practicing constantly. Yes, absolutely. How are you? You've owned up to your comment. Hashtag sorry for the long comment. Hashtag hardcore crew. Oh shit, I'm dropping my pens. Okay, Batman says, what kind of pencil do you do? <laughs> This is going to be the last comment because we're running out of time. Bat Matt, <laughs> you motherfucker. What kind of pencil do I use? That's a take a sip of tea alert. Will I ever draw guys? That's a take a sip of tea alert and other common questions. Yes, you hardcore crewer. Yes, I'm having a sip of tea. Mm. For those of you not in the know, oh, I'm not even going to explain. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not even going to explain it. You guys know what that's about. Oh, God. Oh. There's so many more comments, you guys. I'm so sorry. There's... Oh, I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to fit a few more in. Uh, let's have a quick scroll for comments that look like they might be questions. Thank you very much, everybody, to every comment I haven't read. A lot of you guys are just saying really nice things as usual, and it's a pleasure, and I bloody love you. Are there any questions on here? Uh, oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to get that excited. King of Dongles is the guy, not from the last episode, but the one before, who was going to present their friend a hentai comic for their birthday because they thought that might be okay, <laughs> which is fucking not. Um, you missed the last DWM, but it was me working on a hentai comic. I couldn't finish it because of uni classes, but I have drawn other hentai for her besides that comment. And you've got a link to your Deviant Art channel. Um, you're actually working on a digital painting hentai pic of her original characters right now. Lols for clarification. She genuine, generally likes it. She's an artist herself. <laughs> Dude, that made me laugh so fucking hard last time when you explained that. Oh, man, I got to sign in to confirm my age. I'll have a look at it later, King of Dongles. I hope you haven't just drawn a massive cock and balls. Um, Dion Womack says, hey, Mikey, do you think I can do a SAS of Ruby characters? Oh, we had that question earlier from someone else. That is on the thing. Dubstep says that they bloody love Trigun and Cowboy Bebop. Great. Who doesn't, mate? There were some great anime in the 90s, sir. You are absolutely correct. And the pin pinnacle of 90s anime for you was Neon Genesis Evangelion. Ah, oh, I love... I love a lot of Neon Genesis Evangelion, but I've got a very mixed relationship with that as an anime. I guess we'll have to come back to that in the future. But yes, it is a great watch. The beginning is incredible. The TV series, um, the episodes are a mixed bag. Some are more important than others. The end of Evangelion, though, and all of that... Oh, hello, text message. And all of that end of the world vibe and the giant bleeding angels and apostles and stuff was fucking awesome. And when it's playing Beethoven, um, it's like, basically, if you guys have not watched Evangelion, the end of Evangelion, fucking watch it. There's this giant kind of a semi-alive robot kind of thing on a two-minute time limit or something like that. And these things are bigger than city buildings, and it's hacking the shit out of these other ones. And because they're all kind of, like, semi-alive, there's just like blood everywhere covering the city and it's all done to, I'm pretty sure, like some Beethoven. It's fucking incredible viewing. And like, you know what? Actually, you, you're up. You're right. That is fucking good. The more I think about it, the more I remember it. It's great. That was one of the most kind of like visually and audioly, audio, audioly, you know, audio visually intense anime things from the 90s as far as I remember. Yeah, I've really come around to your way of thinking in the space of a few minutes. Um, what else have we got going on? Big hellos to Antoine Deander, Xavier Frosty, Michael H, Cypher Adid, Oudsway, Tyrone Thomas, Lyris San, Raiden Down, Z, Harif, Imazin, Seth Tone, Justin No Limits Cruise, Casey Ellis, Givran Say, DMA Dimension, so many of you guys, oh, sh loads and loads and loads and loads more. All of you guys have clearly written some long comments and asked me some kind of questions on here. I'm so sorry I've not had an opportunity to read them this episode, but it will become too long. When a file's too long and the episode's too big, I can't actually put the file on my phone because it's over four gigs and I can't upload it to YouTube. It's real tough stuff. So you lovely people, I don't even care if you just copy and paste it. You've obviously clearly got something to say. Stick it into the next episode as soon as you can because I read them in date order and hopefully I can address what's going on with you lovely people at home. Thank you so much for listening along, everybody. I got a little bit hyper at the end. I'm sorry if I've screamed down into the microphone, but it's always lovely just catching up with what you guys have got going on. Get in the comments section for next time round. You know how this works, and I will do my bloody best to read it and just catch up with you guys and see what's going on. Thanks as ever, guys. Have a lovely week. Take care.